Hello guys and welcome to Control part number one and we are playing on a PC 1440p ray tracing RTX mm, so so good a big thank you to Nvidia and Scam for sponsoring this video and making it possible if this video does well enough expect some more episodes 100% so if you go to the link below go to Scan if you buy an RTX card any RTX card you get Control for free Oh yes, how cool is that? Highly recommend. Um, I bought my own 2080 Ti RTX card and I've not regretted it ever since. Hell no. I love it. I'm slowly, slowly going towards PC gaming, which I'm quite excited about. So let's begin part number one. Fair warning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. Ugh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen, freak out. And try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? I didn't realize just how spooky Hello? this game was. Anyone here? Damn. <laughs> I'm sort of scared. I'm really scared. We're already, though, seeing RTX in action. Look at that lighting bouncing off the floor. There's actually new technology in this game called transparent uh, reflection. So basically, ability to look through windows. It sounds so basic, but so many games can't do it. And the glass never looks real. And the ability to bounce off certain sort of brushed metals. It's just some of the technology I'm such a little fan of. Such a fan of. I love it. I love good looking games which push push the envelopes. Lighting is so important for games and sound. That's that's what I think anyway. And RTX ray tracing really does push that to the very max. The very best lighting possible. So it sounds like a sales pitch, but it's true. You like Galarius? I can see straight through it. Straight through it. Bunch of collectibles. Oh, who's been blacking out some things? That's that's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. Well, depends how secret seal. is. How I secret is the information? A long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. So that's the Federal Bureau of Control seal. She sees it in her dreams. I think there's something inside her head. I don't know if it's her or. It's kind of weird though. She's, she's very weird. 
Well, we don't know what's going on. She currently has no powers. I thought she'd have powers straight away. I don't want to spoil it, so I won't say anything about her powers. But Federal Bureau of she's Control. pretty powerful. All these years, Which reflections? Them, and they were hiding in plain Glass. sight. I guarantee this will this this will not look the same on console. I'm just I'm just saying this room. Bouncing off that marble floor. Mm. That American flag. Beautiful. Hello? Oh. Is that a Walkman? That's a Walkman. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you Okay I've then. Done enough night shift loner jobs to know it He's makes us weird. come off weird. Yeah. Ahti the janitor is Very a friendly weird. face in my book. Friendly face, no really. Face at all. So we came here to be a janitor, but oh, it's absolutely dead but here. That said, I know what you're thinking. What? If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. One second. Wasn't we just here? But now there's an elevator here. I'm pretty sure there was a, there was a pitch there originally. I'm so confused. This place is giving me the creeps. The I cell absolutely loved Alan Wake though. Poster. Quantum Break. The I cell was and the poster. Years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They what poster? told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Is she speaking to us? <laughs> so I keep talking over her. I do apologize. <laughs> Yeah, this game is giving me like weird vibes right now. Yeah, I loved Quantum Break. I played that on the Xbox One. Yeah, and that was a crazy game. I loved it. Had this whole like weird real episode thing. It was yeah, kind of weird. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Ah, so that's why you're here. Also, by the way, it's so random, but I love that really bold text. It reminds me a little bit of um, that Chernobyl program. Like, it just looks so cool. Like, bam, in your face. Love it. It feels like this is like a building that's from like the 70s or 80s and just hasn't been touched ever since. There's alarms going off, nobody's here, what has happened? So many questions! That's locked. Again, simple. So simple, but you got glass. Actual glass. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Yeah, the, the main point of like ray tracing and stuff, by the way, in case you guys don't know, it's basically better realistic lighting so lighting bounces off certain objects stuff like that where previously other games would struggle whoa that sound like a gunshot shit oh hell no shit 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 this is bad this is very very bad you want me to pick it up the what? murder weapon really that's not wise. You never do that. Something's outside. Oh, it was coming here a mistake. Oh, God, what we done? Does she have any powers? That's what I want to know. 
I need powers. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> This inside our head? So he picked up the gun. This pyramid spoke to us. My brain hurts right now. The bald. So that was the director, I believe. Who either killed himself or got killed by somebody. Melee, okay. We're finally getting powers! Kaboom! Oh, that was satisfying. So these little blue elements on the floor, I believe that is health. That's what I believe anyway. I'm using um, an Xbox controller, by the way. Because I prefer playing this game like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I have a gun. I guess you do. <laughs> a terrifying gun. Yeah, unfortunately the graphics card does not improve my shooting. <laughs> That's just terrible. Actually, it wasn't too bad. There we go. I think it reloads automatically if it's not being used. Yeah, there we go. How did I know that? Because I played the game at Gamescom. <laughs> I have a little bit of experience. Not with this uh, beginning bit, like a random part of the game. Oh, hell no. Oh. You guys haven't got weapons. Recharging. Recharge quicker! It was that bit slow. Right, I don't think we've been hit yet. Hoop. Okay then. <laughs> Just knocked him off. Stay down. The destruction in this game is so impressive. So, so impressive. Yeah, so these are health elements. Of course we're going to need. This game can get quite tricky. You will the gun you. The ball to point you. So we're now the director? What? That doesn't sound very wise. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. Down outside. Is it safe to go? Did he kill himself? That's what I want to know. Alright, I think we're done here. We are now officially the director of the Bureau of Control, and what the... Insert many swear words. What, what is... What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 Is that live action? You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You stopped it. You. Oh, thank you. That was. Horror. So that was the hish trying to take her brain. Like these guys, we um, managed. Something inside her brain seems to have just stopped it. Stopped the control. The hiss control. We stopped it. We pushed it back. Yes! So we're still ourselves. We're still functioning. 
correctly. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Hot Guys. Line. Where are you shooting, Scott? Get to the hotline. The hotline. Says the dead man. That, that's normal. These guys do not like me. Back off, fool. Anymore. It's just weird the fact that it's just hanging bodies. That is a bit weird. They're just hanging around. Yay. <laughs> oh, hello. What is that it? Anywhere. Just got from the sky. Oh, come on! That's actually pretty good. <laughs> right, so can we get in here? So this is a shelter. A max of six people can be inside it. I'm guessing they, if there was people inside, they'd be safe from the hiss. Or not. Yeah, that's normal. There's the beds. Three beds. Shouldn't it be six beds? Or am I just... Overthinking this a little bit. We don't have full health currently. I just can't wait to get more powers right now. Like currently we we're just like a normal person with a gun. What's that about? Give me give me strength. Okay, we're going the right way. Sweet. Oh great. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Oh no! The somebody's drop. Yay! I think it's sort of thing fun doing that. That seems quite effective. One second, just recharging. Oh, Ranger second. What? Oh, seems like he's got more. Um. Seems like more health. Ah, do it! Freaking fire! Right, he's gone. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. That's good. He's been quite aggressive though. Sit down, fool! <laughs> so that's the old director? My mind's right now. Cleanse the control so point. What does that mean? So the hiss currently controls this area, basically like infected this area, and we can cleanse it as Jessica, the main cat. So I guess since this weird thing inside her, doesn't quite make any sense to me. Holy shit! You did it! We did it! Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. Are you with us? What? With the bureau. Um, Are you still sane? I'm not sure. I think so. <laughs> the fact that I can speak. Oh, we have outfits. So this is an outfit I think you get with pre-ordering the game or something like that. I'm not quite sure. So it's slightly different hair. And looks slightly more badass. Right, let's let them out. Or chat with them. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Pushed the hiss out. So we pushed the hiss out of us. Can we push it out of other people? I'm gonna predict, yes. Let's see. Oh. I'm guessing that didn't go very well. The hiss has burrowed too deep, ripping it out. Rips them apart. Literally, they're non non-existent. <laughs> they just Jesse, rip them out. Over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. We are in like the ultimate undercover position. We are the director of the bureau. We tried to infiltrate. There's going to be a janitor, but we're going straight to the top. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely bonkers. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. 
I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. I guess in that is the phone. This is going to be easy. <laughs> Alright, got it. Uh, I did see there potentially um, some mods we've got. Ah! Grip is reliable. What's that? Grip is reliable with semi automatic fire and deadly at short range. Okay, yep, equip that. Sorry, I lost the ability to read there. Health recovery on element, element pickups is plus 20%. I'm recording this very early in the morning. My brain is still semi waking up. I apologize. So, yes, we go out here. Uh, and then down this way. Yeah. They, the game does occasionally give slight hints. That's the weird inner thing in your brain. <laughs> um, if you guys like me to turn, turn this into a full there series, uh, let me know, by the way. A welcome message. Leave your likes and comments. Yes, we can't get in here. Damn it! Any clearance? I mean, surely I'm the director. I have ultimate clearance. Surely. Stupid game. <laughs> what a headshot. And boom. Sit down, fool. At least we got a few mods though. That's what we want? This is a canteen. Look, I'm starting to get to this gun a little bit. My shooting is improving. Boom! <laughs> actually got a quite a good range on that. Hey, yo. Oh, there's more. There's always more. And that's it. There's one more. There's so much materials and things I seem to be picking up, like collectibles, things you can read. Uh, dead letters. What the hell does that mean? That red light is so striking. Oh, this guy's got armor. Great. To recharge. A little bit careful here. We can crouch. Not a good time, Scott, to lose the ability to shoot. Why is that guy with armor? Does he respawn? Yeah, he does. Right, he does. Oh my god, I think I literally missed every shot. We got as well. Oh, I need that one more bullet. No! Finish him off! That hurts. That's a lot. I really just naffed that up, didn't I? I was like, I'm, I'm getting better at shooting. And I just literally went. 
or around him. It's probably harder to miss. I amaze myself. Try and take this control point. Damn it. There we go. Right in your face. Can I take it? I can cleanse it. Yep. It's now ours. I mean, how big is this building? I know it's like a bit of a weird 1970s weird building, but how big is it? How many rooms are there? I guess if the whole game is set here, probably quite a lot. Probably quite a bit. And now we're back. I think we go this way. Communications. We're on the right track. Quick look in here. What is this? Just look at it. Eight inches wide. Floppy disk. <laughs> oh, don't mention don't mention floppy disks to me. Honestly. Mad times I go to school and my work would be saved on these stupid floppy disks and then all of a sudden it just wasn't there. Loved it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. Ow. What a way to go. Ouch. I feel sorry for that man. Object of power. Yeah, let's cleanse it right now. So we've got to try and reach it and cleanse it, and then I'm hoping maybe we get some directions or an upgrade or a new weapon. I'm up for whatever. A sprint! Ah. Ah. Keep running! Don't stop! Oh, that was close. That was close. He just missed me. How's he got. Where's it all these tank things from? Go, go, go. Sprint. Do I have to shoot it? Or... Ow, ow, ow. Woo. Is that... That's the floppy disk. It's like a massive, like, A4 floppy disk. What? So that... That floppy disk gives it's me telekinesis. Hard to hear you when I'm what? here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. I am my own director. <laughs> wow, we have telekinesis. Finally! I'm so happy! So happy! Oh yes! Slot it into the hole and things will open. I can't believe we finally have telekinesis. Yes! I'm actually so happy right now. I feel so much stronger. Oh, damn. Literally destroys them, just rips them apart. See that little red bar at the top? That's when it basically runs out. If you had an like, unlimited telekinesis, that would, um, yeah, that'd be shit. <laughs> it was, it's that, it's that good. Oh, I'm not even sorry. Where have you gone? There's still more around. Oh, okay. Where were you before? Oh god, that's all. Oof. Secret base. Where is this secret base? Full health? We're good to leave. With telekinesis. Yes! There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Boom. I don't have to hit any of them, but wow. <laughs> Here they come. And they're not very happy. That was just like a cup box. Oh, damn. It's kicking off now. That guy's armor got ripped already. Any more for any more? Or is that it? I think that might be it. Oh, got an energy boost thingy. So look at that. So that is a 
personal mod. It doesn't seem like I can equip more than one right now. So, energy plus 5%. I do like the health recovery extra 20%. That does seem pretty good. It's nice to stay alive from time to time. I thought everyone was dead. Clearly not. Oh, oh, he had so much health. Just got slapped. That is easily my most effective weapon. By a million, million miles. That was incredibly satisfying. Emily said that the Ooh. hotline can be reached through the mail room. Right, I think this might be quite a good time to pause this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So that was RTX on control. Make sure you go and check out the RTX cards on the scan website. I use scan all the time. So when this potential deal came about, I was like, yes, let's do it. Because I love scan. That's where I buy all my computer parts and stuff from. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment below and bye-bye.